Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, but you're in luck because over the next two months I have at least one video coming out every week and I'm going to try to stick to that the best I can. I know I've been busy all summer with Daily Racer Media. You can check that out over at youtube.com forward slash Daily Racer Media and see what we did all summer. Uh, really proud of that project and that's going to continue as well, but I'm going to bring you more vlogs, more behind the scenes, starting with this video today finally got to do something that I've wanted to do for so long, create a Nike spec commercial uh, or just an athletic spec commercial in general. I've seen so many YouTubers do it online and I feel like there's one thing that they always miss and so I wanted to give my own take on that, so stay tuned. What's up everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are out at Mesa Soccer Complex. I'm talking to the camera and we are shooting a Nike commercial uh, with Jojo and Christopher Burris and my brother-in-law Shannon. And I am riding on the golf cart. Okay, like I said, I finally got to film a Nike spec commercial, something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I found a great actress slash athlete helping me. We've got Christopher Burris, who you've seen in a couple videos on YouTube and my kind of MacGyver that I always have on set, my brother-in-law, Shannon. We are out at a local soccer complex near my house because uh, I thought that would be a great location to film. JoJo doing a little bit of running. So we actually shot this uh, about a mile from my house at a huge soccer complex. I thought it would be the best feel and look for this video of her running you know, on the fields and up the stairs with the green grass backdrop and just an athletic feel to go with the commercial. So when you're thinking about doing a commercial, you want to think about story. Whether it's political or motivation, all Nike commercials have a message. So that's kind of what I wanted to show today. We, we wanted to show a message and that message was that 2020 has sucked. And there's a lot of things going on in our country right now, whether it's the pandemic or the election or uh, just basic human rights. And we wanted to, and I wanted to kind of capture that in this video. So having a message, having a story is always important to me. I always want to tell a story. It's telling a story, telling a good story goes far beyond how great your shots look. And so that's something that we made sure to capture in this video. So without me stumbling through this intro anymore, I'm going to go ahead and show you the commercial and let you see what we created. Now to Australia, where they're facing those massive fires. Five-time NBA champion Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. A SARS-like virus has now reached the United States. First coronavirus death reported so far in the U.S. Businesses across the country forced to shut their doors. I've never seen anything like this from our president. Yeah. Yeah. It's irregularities in our books. I'm here with the gear. Shannon. Hello. And our star, Jojo uh. Jordan. <laughs> How do you say your last name? Valentin. Valentin. Yes. What do you want to call us? Call you Jojo, Jordan? Jojo. Jojo. Awesome. Jojo's good. You having fun so far? Oh yeah, this is this is crazy fun. <laughs> we really lucked out with Jordan. She was probably fourth choice in that we had three other girls set to do this and they all had to back out. But looking back, I'm so glad we found her. And if I would have found her sooner, she definitely would have been my first choice. She was just so good, took direction so well, had ideas herself and was just a ball of fun. It was important for us to have a girl as well because the message was kind of female empowering on top of just the crap year that 2020 was. So choosing the right female and having a female over a male was perfect for the story we were telling. Why don't you fall on upper? I mean, I said that wrong. That, yes, say that again, <laughs> this time in English. Yeah, uh, just be behind her as she's running down and then be behind her as she's running up. Okay. How high of an angle? Do you want this to, you want to just be able to see the stairs or do you want me to be? So I really wanted to just kind of sit back in the director's chair on this shoot. Uh, I am always behind the camera and directing and editing and doing everything else. And really my strong suit is telling stories and directing. I've learned how to use a camera somewhat to, you know, make money and keep eating. 
But the more I can step away from that and, and focus on directing, the better the product is gonna be. I wasn't able to fully do that in this one because I just can't seem to let go of the camera or articulate what I'm trying to get, I guess, uh, sometimes. So it's better for me to just have a camera in my hands as well uh, to get a, you know, a second shot or exactly what I'm looking for, or just be like, Hey, I'm trying to do this. Can we, can you do it better? <laughs> Action. Can you, can, I know she can go faster. Can you go faster? Yeah. I can. <laughs> okay. yeah. So same tight shot. You want to do like focus on the feet. I'm, get, I'm getting the feet when she comes by. <laughs> I really like the framing of your shot. Up high again, down, down, and like make make like from a lower angle, like Look. she's empowering. She's like, okay, okay. What are you doing now? I am reviewing what I just shot, which I think will look pretty good. How's yours look, Chris? Well, it looks pretty good. I still, I want another take though. I, I think I can get it right. I just okay, okay, cool. I just didn't understand what Are I was. Are we doing another take going down with this? We might as well while we're up here, going down. I'm gonna let you lead the way. Yeah, hang on, let me think. start. Start just a few more steps down. I need to make sure our height yeah, is yeah. correct. Well, I go one more step. As a director, one thing I've learned from being behind the camera is to always allow my DP time to look at his own footage and get the shot that he wants. I know that I've got a shot in my head and I need a couple takes usually to get it perfectly. So when I'm working with a DP, I give him that same courtesy and I don't necessarily run over to him right away and say, let's look at that. I'll let him figure it out, figure his motion out, figure his, his uh, composition out. And then after he feels comfortable, go over to him and we'll talk about it so that he can show me exactly what he's trying to create and we can go from there. I don't want to get in his head or make him nervous. So I've learned that just giving him some time or giving her some time to figure that out works better for the creative process. You can put up and then go down the stretch and then look, yeah, yeah, right. look me. And action. This shot here wasn't even something that I had in the storyboard. It was just me trying to figure out the lighting on her in this certain shot and it just looked good. And I said, hey, maybe do some stretches and and we ended up using it in the commercial. Thinking, while we still got light, maybe heading over to that neighborhood. So yeah, you that, probably got 30 minutes left. Of these. I mean, the neighborhood is literally on the street. We'll be there yeah. in like five minutes once we get everything loaded up. Two, okay. uh, like a minute once we get Okay. Is that hard for you? To load up? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, I think we're done at the soccer field, which is great because they are starting so soccer practice. So we're going to head to a neighborhood just down the street and get some more like suburban shots to mix in with it. Um, I think having the background of the houses as the sun's setting will be a nice touch. And maybe wreck the go-kart in the process. Golf cart. I'm gonna get some stories for my Instagram in a little bit with y'all in them. What's your Instagram? Oh, uh, Jojo, J O J O underscore Valentine, no E on the end, one. Follow me. <laughs> All right, so we've got the Zion Crane 2S, which is a brand new gimbal here. We've got the A7 III with the Siri 35 millimeter anamorphic lens on top of it. And then a monitor by a company called Port Keys. I'm not a huge fan, but it does okay. Look at that gimbal arm in action. Uh, <laughs> it's the only thing I lift. I go to the gym and just use my gimbal. I'm trying to like think about, I'm gonna do All right, if I, if I say any, speed commands it's going to be to her not to you so just keep steady on <clears throat> yep. 
So I thought I was out of the shot, and then I didn't realize <laughs> that the the road curved. So as soon as I curved, I was right behind him. Great. <laughs> Man, when that sun is gone, it is cold. Look at it or something? No, you don't get to review the footage. You what? just get to see it when you try editing it. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I have not reviewed it yet, so I'm, I'm about to find out right now. This final shot of her running through the neighborhood was the shot that I thought about the most when thinking about this. And it's the shot that I ended up not using because it just didn't fit the look. It just fell out of place in the rest of the video. And I felt like our other running shots were stronger and made more sense. Um, that's something that you gotta be willing to let go of when you're directing a, a commercial is that the shot that you look forward to the most, that you want the most, that you think looks great, may not work and being able to let go of that we let go of a couple of shots that i thought were fantastic and then use shots that were just practice that we honed in and and made look great and fit the story uh being able to adapt like that and kind of give up on you know some hopes and dreams <laughs> uh really helps you tell the best story trying to get our last shot of the day and the golf cart seems to be kicking out. What's going on, Shannon? I don't know. So I know it's not out of gas because this thing is full. It's always something. Nope. JoJo's loving it though because that means no running. I know, right? I get a break. <laughs> Okay, that almost totally worked with the anamorphic flares and the car. headlights. That looks good. That always looks good when you're shooting it, so when you're looking at it afterwards. And it's like, <laughs> what happened? How you feeling? It's definitely cold out here, even with my like fake sweat, 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 fake sweat. <laughs> Picking your crew is also important. I know having Shannon there, he's, you know, I feel bad asking him to do something. And, and when something bad happens, I'm like, all right, well, let's just call it a day. And, uh, Shannon will say, no, I'll figure it out. And he did figure it. He got the cart running for at least one more shot that we ended up not even using. So I feel even worse, but, and Christopher was able to do some stuff that I asked of that was kind of complicated as well as Jordan, uh, just running all day long for us. Uh, having the right crew and having people that are as passionate about it as you are is, is key to making your vision come to life. And I was very fortunate to have those people on the shoot. Oh, yeah, that like totally looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use that and take credit for it. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, I think that's a wrap for the day. So we're going to get back and edit this, and I'll probably talk to you more about that then. So. All right, guys, so that's the commercial and a little behind the scenes on how we made it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some stuff from this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments. Also hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that little bell to notify you when I will be posting another video, which I told you I'm going to be doing more of. I got more stuff with Christopher Burris, some more product shoots, and behind the scenes of those. So looking forward to sharing those with you, and we'll talk to you guys later.